How many leak code questions do you think you've solved? What's been your favorite moment at Google so far? How long have you been at Google? 17 years. Today, we're on the Google campus asking Googlers questions like, what advice do you have for someone trying to get into Google right now? How many leak code questions have you solved? Do you see yourself staying at Google in the future? Also, make sure to stick around till the end because this guy has been at Google for almost 18 years, has met Larry Page, and has the best tips for software engineers. Let's go. Okay, so first off, what's your name? How long have you been at Google and what's your title? Um, I'm Allison, I'm a software engineer and I've been here for two years. Wow, two years, okay. What's been your favorite moment at Google so far? Well, I was part of the end residency program nice. and so we got to come together as a group and all hang out and it was really fun. Awesome. And what would you say is your favorite perk of working at Google? The food. I agree. Right yeah. It's honestly yeah. The best. And what about if you had to give someone one piece of advice who's trying to get into Google right now, what would that advice be? Just keep trying. I feel like if I'm here, Same. you can be I agree. here. Have you ever slept in a nap pod and have you ever ridden a G-bike? I've ridden a G-bike, never slept in a nap pod. What languages do you use and what team do you work on? I work on Google Workspace signup, specifically Workspace Individual, and I use Java and TypeScript. And do you feel like you could see yourself here longer term? You've already been here two years, but do you think you see yourself staying here? <laughs> I do too. That was awesome. Thank you so much, Allison. I appreciate it. Okay, so I met I met Eric yesterday at the gym, but I guess for the camera. Eric, what's your name? How long you been at Google? And what's your title? I'm Eric Newcomer. I'm a software engineer. And so what do you think about sort of your expectations of Google versus now you're on the other side, you're in Google? How does it match up? I think it's pretty accurate. And what would you say? You know, obviously, you've successfully gotten into Google now, but if you had to go back and do it again, what's like one piece of advice you would give yourself now that you know, right? Like what's something you did wrong and that you would correct? Not stressing out too much over it. I agree. Uh, uh, yeah, there was a lot of uh, leak code preparation, as you know. Um, <laughs> of course. And what would you say if, like, in one word, what's your experience been at Google so far? Probably just amazing. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I think amazing is pretty good. Thanks yeah. so much, Eric. I yeah. appreciate it. Yeah. I'll see you around, man. Yeah. Okay, so what's your name? How long have you been at Google and what's your title? Uh, my name is Qingyang Luo and I've been at Google for six months now and my title is Software Engineer. And what team do you work on and what technologies do you use? I'm working in the Google Endpoint Management Team. I'm using on iOS things like the Object-PC and the Xcode. What do you think is your favorite perk of working at Google? I can bring my dog to the office. And what would you say, you know, if you had to give one piece of advice to someone trying to get into Google, what advice would you give them? Just be yourself and don't spend much time on lead code because I feel like lead code is kind of boring and also that's kind of maybe like make you not be so passionate about being software engineer because all those questions on lead code are so boring yeah. so that's maybe like not very useful advice but yeah. How many lead code questions do you think you've solved? Maybe 200. If you had to give advice to one person who's about to interview at Google what would that piece of advice be? Just calm down. Yeah. That's like advice. Yeah. That's awesome. Thanks Jin Yang. So <laughs> first thing what's your name? How long have you been at Google and what's your title? So my name is Ashutosh. I've been at Google for around five months now. My title is just a software engineer. And what do you think of Google so far in your first five months? Oh, it's brilliant. Yeah. And what would you say if you had to give one piece of advice to someone who's trying to get into Google right now? What would that piece of advice be? Work on your basics. Yeah. Try and understand some core concepts. I realized after joining also a lot of people over here really emphasize on threading, parallelizations and sort of stuff, which is always boring to study, but it's like used everywhere. So that's something I would like. Be yeah. like. yeah, that's a good piece of advice. What would you say is one lesser known thing about Google that you really love? There are massage chairs on every floor. Mm -hmm. So you got to time your lunch and when you want to just get on that chair for 15 minutes and relax. Yeah, they're really awesome. So thank you so much, Ash. I appreciate it, buddy. Great. So first off, what's your name? How long you've been here? And what's your title? My name is uh, Yusuf Hassan. I am a software engineer working in a cloud. And what do you think of Google so far? Uh, yeah, it's really nice, honestly. You know, it's a really enjoyable experience. I really like what I'm doing. And what do you think is your favorite perk of working at Google so far? Far. Honestly, just the people. Every single day I'm learning something new. I'm building connections. People are mentoring me. It's definitely a really nice thing. And what would you tell someone who's preparing for their Google interviews now? Like if you could tell them five minutes before their interview, one piece of advice, what would that be? You don't have to get like the question exactly right. You know how the process works. You know the algorithm. Maybe you just don't know the exact syntax. But if you show them that you have that problem solving ability, it'll, it'll really make a difference. Right. That's great. Yeah, I totally agree. Have you ever slept in an app pod? And have you ever ridden a Google bike? Definitely ridden Google bikes plenty of times, but I haven't slept in an app pod. Awesome. Thank you so much for talking to me. I really appreciate yeah, it. Nice to meet you. That's you too. crazy. So what's your name? How long you been at Google and what's your title? Myself Abilash. Uh, I've been here for around seven months and my title is a software engineer. And what do you think about Google so far? Is it like all it's cracked up to be? Is it what you thought it was before you joined? Yeah, I think it met all of my expectations so far. So what would you say is maybe like the most important skill you think someone should have to try and be able to work here? I think solving the problems with coding. So I usually prefer Java. So you should be able to use the collection framework and the data structure. 
as well to be able to solve the problems. And I guess what would you say, maybe someone who's about to interview tomorrow, what's one piece of advice you'd give them for their interviews? Yeah, just try to see like how you can solve the problem. It's okay even if you are not able to solve it. Nice. Yeah, and what's one word you would use to sort of summarize your whole experience at Google so far? Awesome. Nice. I agree. It's awesome. So first off, what's your name? How long have you been at Google and what's your title? My name is Shantanu. I have been at Google for five months. I work for the cloud NPI and Broad. It's in GCP. And what would you say is one piece of advice if you could tell someone trying to get into Google right now? What's one piece of advice you give them? Yeah, I think uh, a lot of companies ask strict questions, okay. as I've seen. But mm -hmm. Google, I think if you have the basics down, I think you can crack the interview. What about aside from the bikes and then actually having the free food? What would you say is your favorite benefit of Google? There's an amazing massage chair in this building, MP2. They have an amazing gym. So yeah. before going to the gym, I would go to the massage chair and just lie down. And do you feel like you're learning a lot at Google? Do you think this is a good place to sort of have a career and grow and learn? Definitely. Good place to learn and grow as an engineer. Awesome. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'll see you around. Love Thank you. I appreciate it. First off, how long have you been at Google? What's your name? And then what's your title? I've been at Google for a little over four years now. I am an agency account strategist. And what would you say is, I guess, one word to summarize your experience at Google so far? Life changing. That's a good one. Okay. And what would you say is one piece of advice you'd give someone who's trying to get into Google right now? I think when it comes to Google, a lot of it is finding right opportunity. Some roles might seem like a perfect fit right now but it might not work out so i would say like just don't give up like sometimes an even more perfect role will come up and so yeah nice. that's great advice and one quick last one what's your favorite perk of google my favorite perk is the 401k match yeah. <laughs> that's a good one it's a good yeah. one awesome thank you so much appreciate Absolutely. it bye milo okay so first off what's your name how long have you been at google and what's your title uh, my name is Xiang Tian. Uh, people just call me XT. I have been Google in 17 years. And then what team are you on and what technologies do you use day to day? Well, I'm in um, Google Endpoint Manager Team. Our team helps uh, Google's customers to manage devices, especially iOS devices. I, I use a wide of tech, like from the front end, from the mobile side, like Objective-C, Swift, uh, and then occasionally like JavaScript. And on the back end, we have Java, we have Python, we have C++ scripts. XT can do everything. So what would you say? I guess is your favorite moment throughout your almost 18 years at Google. Well, just one moment I really still remember today. That was my very first project. We have a project called Google Notebook. Uh, it was a very nice project and it's localized for like 20 plus 30 plus languages. Then we have a weird bug. It was like for some languages, the first time you load the project, it doesn't work. Reload it, it works. You know, you can't really reproduce it because once you reproduce it once, it's gone. How do you handle it? Yeah. How do you battle it? So then I'm looking at this deployment thing. There must be something wrong, yeah. but I don't have lots of chance to catch it. Yeah. So I just look at the code just by staring, 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 staring. One moment I find the price. Ah, I got it, Eureka. It's not a technical issue. It's basically when two parts put together, both parts are localized. They are not linked together properly. Yeah. So for English, everything works. For other language, the first time it will hit empty cache that's not popularized and the second time it hit cache oh no it's, it's it's up but the first time it will always miss amazing what would you say you know i'm sure google's changed a lot throughout your almost 18 years here what are some of the ways that you think it's changed oh there's a lot of ways google has changed google was a really small company i think when joined as a junior engineer my manager's manager's manager is larry page himself no way yeah oh my gosh and that's not like that now there's like 150,000 <laughs> people now xt was probably the first 1,000 people here everyone just speaks their minds there. Mm -hmm. Anyone could criticize the company. I don't think that's the right way to go. And then I page talk to your host like uh, yeah. up there, like tech joke, telling like jokes for everyone. Yeah, yeah. It was, right. it's very interesting. And the question is just walk to people's decks and talk to people directly. Really? Yeah. Have you talked to either of them? Yeah, I've talked to one of them. What? Uh, yeah. <laughs> and what would you say, you know, you've been here a long time, you've seen a lot of things. In your opinion, what do you think is the most important thing for someone to have to be a software engineer? I would say most people can do that, but not everyone can, can be a good one. So to be a good software engineer, one thing I think is the most important. You try to understand things, how it works. You really, really try hard to understand how to work, make it work. That's the key traits mm -hmm. of a software engineer. And what would you say, I guess, if someone is trying to get into Google right now, what's one piece of advice that you'd give them for their prep or their studying? Tactical point of view. You have to try to look at what kind of interview question Google is asking right. and try to prepare for that. Right. But I don't think that's super important. It's more important like, what do you want to do? What do you want to do at Google? What do you want to do as a software engineer? Google is not the only good companies you, you can join. Right. To be a good software engineer, what kind of the skill sets you want to have? Mm -hmm. And you grew that part skill set. And Google will just come to you. Even if Google doesn't, some other companies right. will come to you too. I totally agree. There's like endless great companies out there and Google is just one of them. You've been here for 18 years. What keeps you here? What, what keeps you happy? 
Obviously, I am happy. Otherwise, yeah. I would have already left. The important thing here is that Google recognizes people's values and it tries to put the people in the right place. It really care about individual engineers. Everyone has its place and I found my place. So I'm staying in this nice place. Yeah. Well, we're really happy to have you, XT. And thank you so much for talking to me. I really appreciate it. Thank you for this chance for me to express myself. Yeah, thank you. Of course.